Hi everyone and welcome back to Clean Up With Kelly. If you want to see how I made this super easy and quick wreath, then just keep watching. So here is everything that I used. I got this pick at Walmart and I just kind of took everything apart from it. Um, there was a lot to it and I believe it was a $5 pick for everything that you see. So you got some pine cones and then you have some of these cotton picks as well. I also picked this from Walmart as well. I got it for $1.50, it was on clearance a couple months ago. Now this foam wreath, I spray painted already and I got it at the Dollar Tree. So that is pretty much everything I'm gonna be using. There was some ribbon that I decided to use at the end and I got that at the Dollar Tree as well. So all you have to do is really just cut everything up and then kind of put it on the wreath how you want it. So it's totally up to you what direction everything goes and you can be totally creative here. I'm really liking the wreaths that are only full on the bottom portion. I just think it looks so nice. And again, this is totally up to you. You can actually put everything around the entire wreath like a traditional one. Um, but this is what I've been doing to my wreaths this year. I have placed everything the way I want it and now I'm going to spray paint it outside. So I like to just do a light frosting all over. It just kind of gives it that snowed look. I really, really like it. I think it looked really nice after everything was spray painted. The last thing you can do is take some ribbon. So this is some leftover um, ribbon that I had. I got it at the Dollar Tree and I decided to kind of lightly wrap it over just to give it that farmhouse type of look and I literally just stuck the picks into the ribbon and wrapped it around and that was it. The last thing I did was take two strings and then tie a little loop on top and that way I can hang it up on my door. So that is it. It was so easy and super quick. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.